Hello everybody and good day to you. I'm Cole from Aquamania and today we have a video from the fish section from our delivery straight from the Czech Republic. We are going to crack on instantly today and dive into the wonderful import. So, the first clip was some rummy nose tetras. Uh, the ones here are gold australis, uh, which are a type of killifish. Uh, and here are some gold red garamis. And this is the first time we've had these in a while, so that's a great addition to our fish room. Japan blues. Ooh, they're nice. Oh, Brashad! Yes, I like Brashad, they're my favourite. Yeah, I still like it. Picture, because I like Brashada. So, uh, as you can tell from the previous audio, I like Neolamprologus Brashada. Uh, sometimes they're called fairy cichlids, lyotil cichlids, princess cichlids. You, you get the idea. They have a variety of different names. So, as you can see with this bag, some of the fish, usually catfish and sometimes spammy mouth cichlids, have plastic strips in the bags. Uh, these are to act as like an artificial cover for them, for the fish, uh, which in the wild is what plants would naturally do. This is just to help them hide a bit and reduce some of the stress. Uh, plants aren't usually used as they can break down and pollute the water. You may see some bags have black pellets at the bottom of the bags. These are activated carbon pellets to help reduce pollutants in the water during transportation. When we do these shipments before they arrive, we work out places for the fish to go. All of the tanks and systems have numbers and labels for which section they are, and we make a list of these locations and for which fish. Ready. Here, Ellie is checking the list, finding the location, and going to be putting the fish bag in the water, ready for the first dips. Uh, in the Singapore and Colombia fish shipment we had not long ago, I said something about the bags being tied with either elastic bands or metal clamps. There is no real difference in which is better, some breeders just use different clamps. I do find, however, that elastic bands are much harder to get off the bags, but that's just personal preference, I guess.
as you can see here, Ellie's solution to the metal clamps is just cut it off. Straight to the point. When the fish are finally in the tanks, they usually wait about 10-15 minutes adjusting to temperature before we open them up and give them the first dip. This just helps the parameters of the water in the bags adjust slowly to the parameters of the water in our tanks, as to reduce stress for the fish. After another 10-15 minutes, we do another dip, again another 10-15 minutes, then a final dip, and then we either pour these fish into the nets to put straight into the tanks, or if they're bigger fish, easy to see, we'll net them out. As you may be able to see, some of the fish may look a little pale as soon as they get put in the tanks. This is due to them being somewhat stressed out during transportation and being in a dark box, usually for a couple of days at first. Uh, within a few hours or a couple of days, the colours return back to kind of how they're supposed to be. So on screen now is a list of all of the fish that we actually got in this import. If there's any specific fish that you would love to hear about or maybe us get in, let us know in the comments and we will try our best to get them in or maybe just do a video on them. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like on the video or comment something that you did like about it and remember to subscribe. It's completely free and really helps us out a bunch. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Bye.